Hello and welcome to Ravenfield. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. I picked it up literally a few days ago and I thought, wow, this is actually very cool. It is unfortunately only single player at the moment, but who knows whether that's going to change in the future. There are mods galore in this game as well. So if you are a fan of Mountain Blade and you want something a little bit more shooty, then this is definitely something that you should check out. There are many many mods available on the workshop there's even a map editor as well you can take a look at the roadmap to see where the developer is going with the game and you can also choose between two different game modes at the moment well technically there's actually a number of different game modes instant action has so many choices you have massive amounts of different maps right here and you also have game modes the spec ops game mode is the new one that basically is a case of going to various objectives on the map and completing them and uh, while being shot at. <laughs> That's basically what that is. Then obviously you have battle, which is, I would assume, just a straight up battle. Then you have domination, which is, of course, very similar to how they would do domination in a game like Call of Duty, for example. Skirmish? I'm actually not entirely sure what skirmish is. Point match? I don't know what that is either. I haven't really tried these. Haunted? Ooh, haunted sounds fun. Maybe we should try that out a little bit, shall we? Okay, so let's have... Let's have 250 bots. I have no idea whether my PC can handle that. Let's just have a normal game length and I'm gonna play on Raven Team. And uh, you can change a variety of other things. Also, bear in mind, there are vehicles. Oh yes, the uh, <laughs> the vehicles are available and uh, you have your respawn time. I'm gonna put respawn time on five seconds. I think it's perfectly fine. And we will, uh, you also have character skins as well. I saw very recently that there is a mod to change the characters to Star Wars characters, which I think is pretty cool. So you can basically play as a clone or you can play as a droid or something to that effect. I have no idea what the haunted game mode is. So this is going to be interesting. I really have no clue. Never played this one before. So this is going to be intriguing. Ah, use the map to find anomalies. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So I only have a pistol and a wrench. That is all I have in my inventory at the moment. So this is going to be intriguing to find out where we're going to go and what we're going to do once we find this anomaly. All right, well, we're coming up on it now. And uh, I actually initially wanted to show you the... Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Okay, so it's a wave. Okay, so it's basically King of the Hill. It's pretty much King of the Hill game mode right here. All right, yeah, anyway, I actually wanted to show you the conquest mode, which is still very much a work in progress for the developer, but personally, I feel like that is my favorite game mode that I've tried so far, even though instant action is probably going to be much more. Oh, it's zombies. It's like zombie, it's, it's like a zombie game mode. That is actually very cool. Wow, that is actually very cool. I like this, I like this because uh, for someone that has played Call of Duty Zombies in the past, um, if you want to play a uh, different take on the game mode, especially if you want to support a uh, smaller developer like the Ravenfield one, then you're probably going to have a whale of a time with this game. Although, as I've said, I don't think there is multiplayer available. There might be a mod out there somewhere that might actually add multiplayer in, but I don't know about any of that, so don't quote me on it. Anyway, that basically seems like this is what this game mode is all about. And uh, you, you do get a variety of different structures to explore as well, by the looks of things. I actually wonder, is there any way that I can get new new weapons? Because I... Oh, I have night vision. Oof. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so is there any way that I can get new weapons? Ah, there we go. Yep, there are weapon pickups. Oh, nice. Got a shotgun. Cool. I like it. Okay, so where is the anomaly? I assume... Aha, uh -huh, yes. Okay, so just waiting here is perfectly fine. Doesn't really matter whether we need to uh, go upstairs or not. Um, actually wondering whether the enemies can come in. Can they climb ladders? <laughs> can they climb ladders? That's the question. Can they shoot us? That's also another question. I don't know. But I suppose we'll find out relatively soon. There's a lot of damage modeling as well in this game. And the ragdolls are absolutely hilarious. So definitely something i love you know ragdolls if you know me if you've uh, followed my channel for a while then you know i absolutely adore ragdolls and the hilarity that can happen as a result of them so there you go there's a nice <laughs> there's a nice shot there and it seems like the waves double in size every single time oh oh don't die sir don't die i don't know how much hp that fellow has but i think he should be absolutely fine 
I mean, there's only one skeleton, so not really a big deal. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, I will be showing you the conquest mode after this. I personally love conquest modes in pretty much any game. And my love of conquest modes actually started in Star Wars Battlefront 2, the original one. Yes, the one back in 2004 or 2000 and something, something like very early in the 2000s. And uh, it was just fantastic. Really, really fun game mode. And uh, it gives me the vibes, you know, the Ravenfield conquest mode gives me the vibes. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to quit to the menu because the enemies are coming a little bit too slowly for my liking. But of course, these game modes are still a work in progress. Conquest is still very early and under active development. The experience might feel a little light. Personally, I don't think so. I actually very much like the experience so far. So as you can see, we have research trees as well. So I'm going to be taking these um, I'm going to need to spend gold on these as well. So let me see what I want to go for here. Scoped assault rifle sounds really, really fun. But I'm going to actually go for the revolver here. And that is basically all I can do. You can also do various other things like unlocking MG turrets, buzzard planes, and a variety of other things that you can use in the map itself. So this is your main conquest map right here. You can use to, uh, your little little figures to move around wherever you want to move them. And I'm actually going to be moving a whole bunch over to there. And then we'll move another one over there and another one over there. And then we can recruit. I unfortunately can only recruit one. So we'll just move him over in that direction and we'll just capture this. Now, bear in mind that it might very well be a bit dicey. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be a bit dicey because now we have to defend this map while being slightly outnumbered, which is going to be a bit problematic, but hopefully we'll do okay. I'm going to use the old timey weapons, and we are, of course, also going to be equipping a saber because that sounds fun to me. All right, let's deploy and see what we can do. We do have a vehicle on this map as well, as you can see right here, and this, I believe... I don't think it comes with a, uh, oh, 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 wait, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing, sir? He's fallen over. He's fallen over all the places. Yes, that is for sure. But yeah, I don't think this Jeep uh, currently has a machine gun on the back because I haven't unlocked that yet. But um, when you do unlock it, you will be able to have a variety of upgrades for your vehicles and, and all manners of other cool stuff. So I'm going to be running in here pretty uh, Rambo-esque because I'd like to try and defend the flag as much as I can. And we've got to be a bit careful here as well. So I'm basically just going to wait around the corner here, and if anyone decides to uh, say hi, then we'll do some damage. Uh, you can also lean as well, by the way, so if you want to, you can do that. I'm just going to very, very uh, sparsely uh, shoot here. I'm going to be... Um, Doing a little bit of burst firing. I'm not really going to go super hard because the enemy is going to be quite strong in this area. And I have to be very careful about being flanked as well. Oh, hello there. Like that. Okay, we've got to be careful. We've got to be careful. There's still 14 enemies remaining. Bear that in mind. Yep, incoming reinforcements as well. I'm getting shot. Bear in mind that there, ah, there isn't regenerating ammo. I mean, regenerating ammo? No. There isn't regenerating health. Unfortunately, we did end up losing that particular battle, mainly because they had reinforcements, as I've said. They moved with two markers onto that map in comparison to R1. So the strategy there was flawed like no one's business. I didn't have a very good strategy in that case. However, what I'm now able to do because I have additional gold right here, I'm going to be recruiting two people. We're going to be sending them over here. I'm, I can select both of them, and we can move them all the way over. And then we'll move these guys over here to try and reinforce that area as well. We're just going to leave them there. And what we're also going to do is going to go to the research tree. We can upgrade our resupply. And that means that I will then be able to unlock 
tactical grenades, or I can go for these. I can go for the signal DMR, which I think I probably will go for. I personally like a scoped assault rifle. I think that will be a lot of fun to use. And otherwise, now what we can do is we can select all of these and then attack. And then we will have overwhelming power in this case. So hopefully we'll be able to do okay here. Unfortunately, it will then result in the enemy being able to... Ah, uh, actually, you know what? I'm only going to attack with two. I'm only going to attack with two because I think if I go fully, really, really hard uh, against them, it's probably not going to result in anything good. So we're otherwise going to be taking a medic bag. Don't think I really need a um, an ammo bag at this point. And there we go. So we're starting in a different area this time around. I should have unlocked the machine gun nest, I think. The machine gun nest for... Oh, 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 don't run him down. Oh, that was not good. Oh, he's got... He, I think he might run over another one as well. But anyway... Yeah, now we got a scoped rifle, which I very much appreciate. Let's see what we can do with this. I think it's going to be pretty... Oh, oh no, he's murdering. He's murdering our own guys. Thankfully, they don't take that much damage. But um, as I say, there isn't any regenerating health, so that is a bit problematic. Anyway, let's see what I can do here. Maybe I can pick off a couple of people from range. Bear in mind that there is bullet drop as well. So you gotta be a bit ah, you gotta be a bit careful. I'm gonna uh wait a minute, where's my there we go, there's my medkit. Okay, give it to me. Give it to me. There we go. Alright, gonna have to Oh no, we're doing badly. Gonna have to reload. Gonna have to hide behind cover here. Killed by cool guy. Really? Really? Did I really get killed by cool guy? Yes, I think I did. Anyway, now, when you die, in conquest mode at least, you do get the opportunity to take control of one of your AI friends. And uh, I think we've won this. I think this is definitely a victory for us. But as you can no doubt tell, it's very difficult. It's actually quite, quite tricky to achieve a victory. Got to be a bit careful here. There's someone around the corner. Oh, never mind. He's already dead. All right, so that is indeed a victory for us, I think. There it is. Nice. So we were able to achieve a victory there. Unfortunately, now it is going to result in the enemy being able to resupply their forces. So you'll see exactly what I mean by that. They're going to get some more, uh, more soldiers on the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my reinforcements over to this one as well. And uh, that's basically all I can do now. Um, although I could move over here if I wanted to, or I could move over here. Um, I think what I might do is move... I'm just going to move one, actually. I'm just going to move one over in this direction so we can get some more research done. And we're just going to kind of keep someone there every single time. As you can see, they're now going to move those three ahead. And technically what I could do is if I wanted to, I could move my two onto those three, and then we'd go into a new map, which would be very, very difficult for us, I think. So we're just going to recruit these guys, and we're going to move them over there. I'm actually wondering whether I should literally just move my forces back or move them forward and try to eliminate this one over here. That might actually make more sense. We could... Can we... Yeah. Oh, look at that. We can actually do two. This might actually make sense. Hmm, maybe just one? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do that, and we'll see how it goes. So we're attacking Dust Bowl now, so we're going to get into a, a little bit of a different a uh, little bit of a different battle here. Personally, I feel like the Saber doesn't really help us that much, so I'm going to get another Medic Bag, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so Dust Bowl is a pretty large map. Now, I'm being a bit sneaky here. I obviously don't have night vision goggles, so unfortunately I won't be able to see that easily about uh, various enemies in the area, but I'm hopeful that what I'll be able to do is jump down here. <laughs> I think I might actually die if I jump right down here, to be honest, but let's let's try it. Ah, no, no, no. They give you a lot of control in midair, which is really nice as well, but as you can see, look at this. I'm coming in from the, uh, uh, well, from the rear flank, basically, and there's the flag. So now if I can maybe... Oh, 
Okay, I am actually being shot from here. Nice hit. Oh, okay, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. The AI is really good, by the way, as you can no doubt tell. They are really, really accurate from even long range. So if you're worried about the AI being too easy, oh, no, no, you don't have to worry about that, that's for sure. But uh, I am keeping them a little bit busy here, at least. Okay, let's see if I can get him. No, there is bullet drop, by the way. Get him. Yes, nice. Okay, we got him. Yeah, so there is bullet drop as well. So if you're familiar with games like Battlefield, for example, then you're probably going to be pretty much at home here. And otherwise, let's try and sneak down a little bit. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we have a number of others. Got him down. And we're knocking them down. That's all we need to do, really. We just need to kind of give them a little bit more to look at. Putter and driver. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so let's see. Hello there. Nice. Okay, bear in mind that uh, I am also having difficulty seeing, so if you have difficulty seeing the enemy, then I apologize. That is literally just because the map is kind of dark, and it is definitely a good idea to get the night vision goggles unlock, and uh, eventually you'll learn each of the maps. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, eventually you'll learn each of the maps, and then as a result, you'll be able to kind of get your loadout exactly as you want it. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the map when we spawn. We're going to be spawning at the town. This is a slightly bigger, more grand scale map in comparison to the tunnel, where it's basically just three points. You have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven points on this particular map. So you're going to have some massive firefights going on. And do bear in mind that if you do enter into an instant action rather than the conquest mode, then you can determine how many bots you have on a map at any one time. Because, of course, in the conquest mode, you can't really set that because it is determined by the map choice. But uh, as far as I'm aware, the instant action basically allows you to select as many bots as your computer can handle. Which, I gotta say, is pretty crazy. I'm wondering how many it can actually handle. Like a thousand? Two thousand? Five thousand? I don't really know how many the game engine can handle. But as far as I'm aware, it is completely determined by your computer. So, yeah. I, I mean, I'm constantly getting extremely high FPS here as well. I have had no performance issues whatsoever. And no crashes or anything like that. So it's been very, very plain sailing in Ravenfield so far. And um, as I say, I've been playing on a lot of different maps, haven't really had any difficulties whatsoever in any of them. And uh, oh dear, we're coming across some blue blood here. So that might very well be a bit of a problem. Oh, oh, they're using rockets. Someone's using rockets. Look at these guys. They're running around on an ATV. That's not very nice of them. Okay, we so we got some blues over there. That's perfectly fine. And I believe that actually might be it. Is it? No. It is not going to be it. Not just yet. Oh, oh, it is. Never mind. I actually thought they might have additional reinforcements, but I think they probably would have gotten those beforehand. So there you go. There's a nice victory for us. That means that we have claimed yet another zone. But that's the thing. This is not a cakewalk by any means. I actually feel like there's a significant challenge involved in the strategy of this game, especially as the strategy of the conquest mode, at least. Now... I'm going to go for the MG turret because we have a, a number of good um, good research points so far. We're going to now go and get the night vision goggles. And we're also going to be taking a look at some of the other things here. Ooh, sniper rifle. That sounds really fun. Unfortunately, I don't have enough gold or anything like that to do that. Suppressed weapons. That seems very cool as well. It makes it easier to operate behind enemy lines without drawing too much attention. Ooh, yeah. That sounds cool. And then obviously you have the scalpel, the ultimate handheld anti-tank solution, guided missiles and all that stuff. So there is so many things. There's just so much stuff to look at here and so much stuff to unlock as well. These guys are going to be attacking with all three of them in the tunnel here. Unfortunately, I won't be able to really deal with that, I don't think. 
yeah, as you can see, I'm just going to auto resolve that. That is going to be a uh, pretty clear, decisive defeat for us right there. And we are now going to be defending the Dust Bowl once again. I'm going to auto resolve that as well because this is going to be the end of this episode. If you'd like to check out Ravenfield, there is a link in the description. And personally, I feel like the conquest mode is looking really good. And it's not even finished. It's not even finished. It's crazy. Anyway, that will be it. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.